So last video we talked about the inspiration of a wizard trade magazine behind the kind of the layout of uh, the crypt has opened and as well as how like that 90s era pop culture is going to influence the book especially the ads and uh, what kind of color schemes and how they're laying out those ads uh, the word choices they use and that kind of stuff the other inspiration and you guessed it is tales from the crypt uh, specifically ec comics is one of the biggest things we're going to look at for the actual art direction um, the other thing we're going to look at is going to be the tv show itself because it is classic 90s horror uh, one of the shows that really uh, has always stuck in my head is one with don rickles and bobcat goldthwaite Don Rickles is a ventriloquist, and you do come to find out that the ventriloquist dummy is hiding his twin, that it is his hand, and then he eventually cuts it off, and it's just wild. It's, it's an amazing little, at least I remember it being amazing, uh, little part of the anthology, and that's a great place you can start pulling in for adventure ideas or different spirits or NPC hooks, all that kind of stuff. So I definitely want to go back and watch those and really get the, that, that horror vibe. But when it comes to the comic, the reason why I wanted to get EC Comics stuff is because I want to get into that limited CMYK palette that they use. It is just those four colors and how we mix those uh, along with the duotone kind of, you know, dot newspaper print that's going to help sell, I think, more of the vibe of what we're going for for all of this is that old uh, newspaper kind of comic feel to it. Uh, as well as all of that is just how these pages are laid out and what uh, shots they kind of choose to use. I mean, look at like how the titles are, are set up and every, there's a lot of puns in this thing when it comes to uh, the Crypt Keeper and this, like all the forwards. Um, let me see if I can quickly pull up a coffin and rest your aching bones. Let's chat about our magazine, a magazine which you fiendish readers have demanded. So you see, it's like, it's all of those kinds of puns. So I'm trying to pull a lot of that into it, which is again, campy horror, but you know, for the time that was pretty great stuff for a little kid, but I want to get that. Maybe it's a bit of a nostalgia thing, but that's a big part of what the crypt has opened. Uh, campy horror, Americana horror, grindhouse horror, things that are a bit over the top and gruesome and, and just wild, uh, but also a lot of fun. Um, so, Tales from the Crypt is going to be a huge inspiration, both the comic for uh, the color layout, uh, the language we're going to use, maybe uh, even some, you know, the shot choices for how we draw the characters, and then the TV show for perhaps how we're going to write adventures going forward and how we're going to get maybe different seed ideas for that. So thank you very much for watching these videos. Uh, we're going to talk about a bit more of what's uh, behind the inspiration for this game. So keep watching these and we'll see you around.